Well, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets within five minutes of them going on sale. And you're you're going to be standing outside holding to be inside the arena. All the way back to UFC 75, champion versus champion. Rampage versus Dan Henderson. The UFC has brought fights that have blown the roof off the O2 arena. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, collar tie. Back to his feet. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon. Oh, oh, look at this out of nowhere. It's flashy but effective. Even Ari roll into a potential heel hook here. This could get interesting. Oh, wow. Oh. And he landed the right hand there. He should be defending right now. Somehow stays in the fight. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Potentially working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. Oh, nice. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, right in the mount. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that oh, oh. ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get Punching that Ready, fight. Ready. Second round underway. Flips the shot. Blocks the shot. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Boom! Big jab. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Jab hurt him a little bit. Unable to connect with the right. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no free piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combo. That's a pretty scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Ferguson's lower jaw does not look good. I know. Oh, DC, would you look at this? The Imanari roll out of nowhere. And now right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Throws the right hand there. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Back to the feet now. Oh, wow. His opponent's got to be more urgent here. That's going to hurt. Got to get out of there. Oh. Oh. Nicely done. 
Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't. Ferguson's now looking for a Darsh choke. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. He might get a finish here. Might just be a matter of time. And there it is! Oh my goodness! What a performance! Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully lets it materialize almost organically and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Joining the winner by tap out due to a Darsh choke, Tony El Capri Ferguson! Well, the celebration